Hi guys, welcome back to GK Code Labs. Today I have a small announcement to make that uh, we are going to start artificial intelligence series. But more than this announcement, I also want to discuss what is the need of artificial intelligence and machine learning, deep learning and why suddenly I am going to this. As the matter of fact, for my channel I am telling, this is actually the correct time to jump into AI, machine learning and deep learning. Because if you are following my channel, you know that my another series is going where I am covering Apache Spark, which is currently the most important framework in big data and very popular as far as jobs and opportunities in current IT industry are concerned. So if you are following that Spark series, that is the best learning and framework uh, that you can learn if you are trying to move to big data. But many people are still confused between big data and data science. So let us clear this confusion first of all that if we are learning Spark, Hadoop, Hive and all these tools, are we exactly on the path of data science or are we lost somewhere or do we need more clarification for a true path of data science? So let me walk you through this and build a kind of blueprint in your mind that where do we stand here learning Spark and what else Spark can do and what other fields of data science are still left if you are only concentrating on big data and how tough it is to go into data science if you are already working into big data or trying to learn the big data concepts after understanding uh, the complete data science scenario how tough will it be and how much we have to upscale our skills so that we can call ourselves a perfect data scientist so first of all let's see what is the difference between ai big data big data tools that what we are learning and data science all look same maybe some of you still have some confusion or maybe if you have more interest in this you might have uh, got it cleared with some of your peers but let me tell you in my words what exactly is the difference between them so big data is where we handle a large amount of data at scale what does handling means handling means storing the data reading the data manipulating the data and actually filtering, cleaning and doing all that analysis that as per our business requirement we have to do. For that we use tools like Hadoop, Spark, Hive, uh, Kafka for streaming and in the end uh, we want to store our data so we use uh, tools like uh, SQL databases, NoSQL databases. So this limits to uh, when we get the data, how we have to get the data what all um, transformations and uh, operations we have to do on the data and how actually we have to handle that huge amount of data do we have to keep it on one machine do we have to keep it on different clusters if data is distributed when i'm speaking this it's fair you uh, make a reference to spark so that uh, it will make more sense to you because that is actually the big data tool only that we are using so that is basically the limitation of big data concept and that is actually expected from you if you are going into companies as a big data engineer. But please clear it once and for all. This is not the data science. I mean, this is not the complete data science. Okay. Now let's see what is AI. So AI is understanding the data. Just in my words, I want to explain you first what is artificial intelligence. That is understanding the data that may be structured, unstructured. Uh, maybe images, audios, videos to figure out a pattern of interest. Okay. That we do in big data also, if you if you are saying that uh, we can find patterns in uh, any data given to us, that is fine. But uh, let's closely see what is the difference. So when we find a pattern into a data and we program a model to make that particular model understand, this model is nothing but a, a set of instruction or a program onto which we can code multiple algorithms to find those patterns and make that particular piece of code or software or what we say as model to make that model understand those patterns feed, feed a huge amount of data into that so that it can find those patterns in whatever data we fed and save all that data that as a concept we can term it as it has learned that data how it has learned that data or what it has learned that was based on whatever algorithm we put as per our interest. For example, let's say we have a huge data set of people's age, height and their weights. Now, if I design an algorithm to trace it out on a graph, let's say uh, these are the particular heights and according to these heights, these are the people's weights. So we can plot all these um, tuples on any graph, say x, y axis. And 
any we can apply any simple algorithm like uh, linear regression and we can find a pattern that more or less this particular height has this amount of weight and our data is huge and as per our algorithm we make a model some 2 million people's data that these are the height and weights and that model learns it and that model is ready after that any height we put into that model according to whatever it has learnt it is returning the weight or the other dependent value just you can have a short idea then after i will come what actually right now we are doing in spark how we can leverage that on all this so in addition to that this artificial intelligence are of two types if you are familiar or not we'll come to this in our ai series so to have a small flow chart in your mind these are of two types first is machine learning and second is deep learning so as i told you what all we do in artificial intelligence following the same path in case we are analyzing and predicting the outputs on concept of like directly superimposing some mathematical algorithms on a set of data and then having our uh, prediction or output that comes under the machine learning there are different algorithms linear regression logistic regression uh, uh, we'll come to that once we start the series and most interesting part of this that you have uh, seen in many of the applications like image classification and uh, all the video categorization that uh, currently companies like uh, Netflix and Amazon they are using for Amazon Prime so they are analyzing the patterns in videos those models cannot directly learn with any particular algorithm that is superimposed but in in place of that that models have to be learned using different layer of neurons so that all comes under deep learning so this was a small idea to understand where exactly do you stand in the field of data science if you are only concentrating on big data but if you have an idea of all this and you start working or making small projects using ai machine learning and deep learning which are seriously i am telling it's not a big deal and and the concepts are seriously not to be considered as a rocket science but if you know all that that is a complete data science now let's come to where does spark fit into ai i'm concentrating more on spark because already we are learning that is why i told you this is the correct time to move to ai so why not leverage the knowledge that we are gaining and do our practice and hands on keeping the ai part of the data science in mind so that we can leverage all that tools what we learn into learning seriously big things into data science right so where does spark fit into ai whatever we learn into spark and all the apis data frames and its cluster computing power if using the same data frames rdds if we start touching and understanding the spark mllib part we can use our same knowledge to build some small ai projects in parallel which otherwise will be a tough task for us if we have to start from scratch because there are chances that uh, you might forget few of the spark concepts and uh, very much plus point as per me is if you are somewhat around 20 25 percent confident in spark and when you start working on ai machine learning you will leverage your 25 percent 30 percent confidence into understanding the ai and that will not sound much tough to you then rather than you cover entire spark and start forgetting few things and someone comes and uh, tells you uh, do you have any idea on uh, machine learning and ai and then suddenly you actually don't have the idea but if Parallelly, you start using the same Spark concepts in MLlib. You will seriously find that uh, these things are not very tough. So, so how can Spark help us in AI? First thing is handling and training the data at scale. As I told you, the models that we built for machine learning or deep learning that had to be trained on a huge amount of data. And there are libraries in Python like uh, Pandas that provide you somewhat same data structures as Python. You can have data frames in Pandas and uh, Spark, obviously the most popular thing, data frames. So concepts are same, but Pandas data frames are nowhere near to what Spark data frames can do. And I think I need not explain that. So think of it, if you are uh, handling huge amount of data in um, spark data frames and all that data frame data you are using to build a model to make that model learn so isn't it a big leverage that you are taking for the spark knowledge and building something great in ai so this is the first thing that uh, spark can help you a lot second thing is analyzing the powerful tools as i already told you uh, data frames and RDDs and leveraging their power. Power doesn't all, only means uh, to perform it at scale. 
दिस इज ऑल्सो ऑल द फंक्शन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड एक्शन दैट स्पार्क प्रोवाइड विद स्पार्क डेटा फ्रेम्स ऑल दोज एग्रीगेशन पार्टीशन मैपिंग सो यूज सेट ऑफ फंक्शन दैट यू कैन यूज विच ऑलरेडी स्पार्क प्रोवाइड्स एस एंड दिस इज वॉट वी आर ऑलरेडी कवरिंग इन अवर अदर अपाचे स्पार्क सीरीज and if you are seriously dedicated to apache spark the machine learning and deep learning are the best scenario use cases that you will get if you have to have a hands on on apache spark another is majority of companies that uh, are using or starting to use uh, machine learning or deep learning have a huge amount of data correct and there are very less companies uh, that considering today's data driven environment are not using spark everyone is using spark in some or the other business requirement and as the companies are moving towards machine learning it is very feasible for you that most of the companies will have the requirement that you have a knowledge on spark along with your machine learning or deep learning concept rather than only having a machine learning or deep learning concepts or only having the big data knowledge so this is where spark can take you to big companies that are using uh, spark for their data processing as well as they have some requirement for a complete data scientist who has idea of machine learning and deep learning concepts as well and then also all the optimizations uh, spark provides as a part of their tungsten project and catalyst optimizers all that concepts also you can leverage if you learn uh, machine learning along with the apache spark so i hope i was able to make you understand the importance of machine learning and deep learning in field of data science why you should learn it and why if you are interested in spark you should surely be considering uh, to have knowledge of machine learning and deep learning this artificial intelligence series i'll start in very beginning of january 2020 because in this year december and i'm planning for some holidays but as soon as i come back i'll start this in parallel to apache spark series and learning something in spark series applying somewhat same concepts in machine learning so that you can actually take benefit of both and then as a part of hands on you will be able to make very interesting uh, data science project so thank you guys uh, if you liked the video and the idea behind this please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done thank you guys see you later